Chill vibes for your state of mind. Chill vibes for your well-being. Chill vibes for good health. All right. Pokemon Shield. Pokemon. Good doggo. Divine Pathos, thanks for the resub. Appreciate that. Now, Witch Hunter, you didn't miss anything. It's time. It's finally time. Oh. Mmm. Oh no, oh no. Hmm. Taking my inspirations. John Bon John Bovey? That's pretty good. I did Royan Sue for uh for Persona and I don't regret it. Thanks for the resub. Get a oh, big hoss. That's not bad. This game seems quieter. It feels weird for this not to be voiced, right? If I, I'd step if I wasn't an unemployed fuckboy. That's fine, Sendered. You know what? You're doing me more proud by, instead of being a, what do they call it, a wage cuck? You're spending all of your life playing video games, and that's important. This track is alright, though. Danny boy, I'm gonna get around to playing Pokemon one of these days. Soon, I promise. That's a solid beat. I like that. I do like the idea of bringing like big stadium energy to Pokemon. It gives it kind of a, a Smash Brothers vibe. The song Toby Fox did for Pokemon was from a Homestuck album about a male character being pregnant. Was there a way? I have. I. I like have all these like dumb Twitch ideas I want to do. Is there a way to, like, livestream trying to consume Homestuck? Because I know it has, like, games and animations and web comics and short stories and stuff. Um. I don't know. Oh! Uh. You need a smoke machine? I think I can do that. It's a solid pose. It's just a webcomic? Oh, I thought it was like... I thought it had animations and video games and stuff. I thought it was transmedia. I'm also kind of down with them putting kaiju vibes into Pokemon. It's the same premise as Danganronpa. Okay. That does make sense, actually. Oh my god. Ah! Uh, just, just take my heart! Take it out! Goddamn Wooloos. You got the right version? Thank you. Yeah, too. I agree. Homestuck is the hardest of all hard nettons. Because didn't he just announce Homestuck 2? <laughs> Typical Zoomer. Staring at his phone all fucking day. I'm watching eSports. Famous Charizard pose. This fucking JoJo shit. Toby Fox's Homestuck 2. <laughs> Ishmi Mum. Oh, I forgot. This is supposed to be all British, right?
Do you have a whiskey preference? Not really. I'm still exploring whiskey. Um, I don't know. Knowing me, I, like, oh look, there's a cuppa right on the table. Oi! Oh, that that run speed is pretty intense for being indoors. Also, like, yeah, you bonk into stuff. Oh, I'm at two cups of tea and I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! What? 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 Oh, it still makes, like, Game Boy sounds? Huh. That's kind of weird, but I think I like it. Like, Dragon Quest has a lot of that that energy, too. Of still putting in really old sound effects. Comedy dramas. Calm drums, as they call them. Hello. Care to watch a calm drum? <laughs> Not strong enough for Homestuck 2. I believe in you. No reflections. Game's trash. They're really uh, defying JRPG, tra JRPG tradition and not having you being woken up by somebody. Instead, you're watching shit on your phone. Is that a... Is that a pear-shaped potholder? I keep thumbing through text so fast. Uh, State-of-the-art microwave oven? You know that we have those now. We have those. Why does he keep bonking into everything? Aw. That's a big-ass TV, kid. Better have gotten good grades for that. Got Pokemon bed sheets. Bonk on the bed. You got it. Ooh. I was gonna save right away! Just in case something terrible happens, you don't want to have to watch the whole intro again. Casual controls? <coughs> I'm insulted that that would even be offered to me. Bonk that bed. Bonk. 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 You can turn off autosave. Oh yeah, that's a big deal, right? For catching shinies and stuff? For doing, um... Like, stat manipulation? RNG manipulation? Yeah, Jess, I saw that too. Of, um... Autosaves wiping people's SD cards. I don't know. Seems like people are all amped up to hate this game for some reason. Now that the game's out and people are playing it and having fun, it seems like a lot of that has subsided, but damn. Huh. It is ridiculous, and I've seen this cycle happen a number of times where people get really excited for something, and then their excitement turns into, like, self-loathing and hatred and resentment and anger. It's almost like... And PR, PR cycles have studied this for a reason. You can't keep people too excited for too long because they turn sour. They age like milk. And once... God, when the audience goes toxic, it's just wild. Uh, the SD card thing is related to the Switch's XFAT driver and has been an issue since launch, but Pokemon aggravates it apparently. Hmm. So, like, it corrupts the file table kind of thing? I mean, fuck that sheep. Uh, I don't know if Pokemon have fuckable holes. But they can breed, so... Probably? Yeah, how can you hit this game when there's a Wooloo right there? Bitter Hype Syndrome. Is that the name for it? Vaporeon, yep. It's got Acid Shield. It's an aquatic type. A slumbering Viald. Oi! Killed my living Pokedex. 
Yeah. I don't... I don't... I kind of get that. The idea that every Pokemon is iterative on the last one. And every Pokemon mathematically is everything the last one was plus more. Like, Smash Brothers has been able to do that to some degree. Ultimate did it. Except that Sakurai was very clear that it was going to murder him. And it kind of did. But, uh... Are people not allowed to criticize? Just curious. Ah! The old just curious. Uh, not he the brave... No, they are. They are. I think it's it's one thing to be like, that sucks. It's one thing to be like, that sucks. Ah, I wanted all my Pokemons. That sucks. That's a criticism. Totally acceptable. Totally fine. Totally understandable. But, uh, you know, I think the, the intensity and veracity of some of that stuff goes a little wild. And just by the way, not that you're doing this, but everyone tags just curious on the end of a pretty challenge a pretty charged question thinking that it gets them immunity um just asking only curious not saying you were doing that it is a common thing though and you may want to avoid that phraseology because it not the best look yeah i love that yeah i'm just asking questions i'm sorry that it's not fair to like jump on you for that because you it did sound like you were just curious but it's a, it's a phrase that i'm seeing used more and more and it seems like people people throw that in, thinking that it, like, completely makes them immune from the actual underlying intention of a lot of their questioning. I see that a lot on Twitter. Of people, like, it's like, okay, well, if when I look at your timeline, I see, I see what you're into. And I see the narratives that you're buying into. And you're just tossing a little just curious on the end there. Yeah. No offense before every offensive statement. Yeah. I mean, I would... Don't get me wrong, though, and I want to be clear about this. I am that guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, sorry. You don't gotta... I was just saying. I was just saying it's a thing. Look at that, I knocked over my tall boy. Yeah. I apologize if, uh... Came out the wrong way. But yeah, no, I think people people are allowed to express um, disappointment, confusion, allowed to question things, for sure. But uh, a lot of the times, and th this is like, I mean, this is the tragedy of any, um, well, tragedy of any community, is that it's sort of defined by its loudest and angriest people. So, an individual might be reasoned uh, responsible, respectful. But if there's... And there can be like 300 of them. All reasonable, normal people. But if there are two in that group that are yelling really, really loudly, it kind of throws off the perception of it. And especially when it comes to the internet, man. The loudest people dictate the terms. Volume of substance, yeah. It's just wild, man. But it, it, it is crazy, like, and I've seen this happen a million times. Um, <laughs> now, Wayne, you've been noticed. Uh, I've seen this a million times where, like, people get so rowdy and angry. Well, I shouldn't say people. Some get rowdy and angry. Ooh, we got a hat person. Getting fucking jacked, yeah. But once the thing comes out and it's playable, all that stuff seems to fade away, provided the thing is made well. Only adults read these types of books. Really? Because it looks like manga. Why are... See a pallets of magazines? What's going on? Why are they tied up like that? <laughs> Did I miss some shit? Nah. Just talking about the internet. Same old thing. Yeah, adult manga. Actually, I only played Let's Go Eevee. Oh, really? That's kind of surprising, Jess. I would have thought that uh, you'd be in on this stuff. I want... This is a... A total nothing idea. Oh. Thank you, Demon Kane. We'll have a good one. Um, this is a non-thing, but I, I want to, like, track... I would love to do a time study of JRPG interiors. 
Uh, because, like, that's that's obviously a knockoff MacBook. Like, there's things in this house that are very, like, at least post-2013. Um, and actually in both the houses, like, big TVs, um, hat, like, hat collections, uh, tastefully displayed. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of fascinated how, like, JRPGs, even fantasy JRPGs, are still, still have, like, ties to the modern world and, and have a way of reinterpreting that. Um, yeah, yeah, Vic Radler, it is a current affair sound effect. Compared to Seven in, or Final Fantasy Seven Interiors, where everything was Steam Age stuff, yeah, it was all very steampunk. But there were still glowing TVs, and the TVs were four by three, and they were fat CRTs. So I don't know. I'm always amused how like how existing tech uh, is reflected in even fantasy stuff. You can't get too far away from the world that people know, lest it become unrecognizable. Anyway, Tall Boy number two. Oh, you were, a, you were a Digimon person? Wait, Wooloo is your starter? Why is it my Wooloo? I want a Wooloo. Thick TV is best TV, yeah. It's lagless. You gotta play your melee, you gotta play it with no lag. I mean, if... If I were going to get my Groove Coaster scores, I'd need to do it on CRT. I'm not going to lie, though. That ground... That... I'm sure the game is fine. Its grass texture is kind of ass-looking, though. This is kind of like PS3, Xbox 360 quality. But, hey! That's not the only thing that matters in video games. Wait, what? Groove Coaster came out on Switch in Japan only? No, it's... It's... Jess, it's... It's, it's right there. It's out, and it's got a Vocaloid pack. It's just not very good. Yeah, it came out. I mean, it's it's sixty dollars, and I'm gonna be honest. I feel a little burned already, but uh... oof, that pose though. That's a pose you get cranking five five pound dumbbells in your room. So, Jess, you may not want to buy it right now. I mean, I played it and it was laggy as hell, but that's just me. Is this worth buying the Switch for? Waiting for the Pro. Raven say, uh, you're probably going to be waiting a while for the Pro. And I can't answer that yet. I mean, I think you probably, if you're up in the air about it, I, I don't know. Um, there are plenty of games that are worth buying the Switch for. I don't know if Pokemon is one of them. But, like, Breath of the Wild is amazing. Uh, Odyssey is really good. Splatoon 2 is awesome. Dragon Quest XI? Yeah, I need to get that. I don't know about, I don't know about Pokemon yet, because I just started it. And this one's really good. I like this one. Got some mango in there. Hmm. It's so weird that they use like the downsampled Game Boy sounds. Is it just like in the world of Pokemon, all Pokemon sound like a Game Boy? Yeah, just kidding. P.S. Just kidding. This is the Natural Light Seltzer. This is the Aloha Beaches flavor. I am only consuming the finest in boozes. On this, the most Pokemon of evenings. How are you liking the games? I mean... Create. I, I've just been... Uh, I've been thumbing through checks since I started, so... It is... Uh, it hasn't started yet. I'm in the... Gotta read and ease my way into the JRPG-ness of it. What's a good Pokemon cocktail? I mean, clearly a Natty Light Seltzer. <laughs> Wait, is he wearing like... 
He's wearing like a soccer uniform over over tights and a cape. I always wanted to be the best. Like no one ever was. I made it to episode four, Death Stranding and Kojima. Yeah, that's Episode 4 is when the game kind of starts. It is a very interesting outfit, isn't it? I mean, that hat is, is kind of JoJo's, but... Because it's all turned up like that. It keeps that out. It keeps posing like a badass. They're leg warmers? Are they? Ah, what is it exactly is a Nighty Light Seltzer? Uh, I guess I can... Let me try to give you the full history here. So, Natural Light is really garbage booze. Um, it's very cheap, though. And they kind of, like... So, most light alcohol... Like, light beers in America are, like, 4 or 5%. Natty Light is, like, 6 or 7. And it's really cheap. So, Natural Light is kind of, like, the thing that poor college kids buy to get fucked up on. Um... Natty Light made a seltzer, because seltzers are also kind of a, a phenomenon in America, kind of prompted by White Claw. So seltzers are just uh, carbonated water, plus like, yeah, it's a snapback. Uh, yeah, they were really popular a while ago, and uh, now they're not anymore, but there you go. Uh, seltzer drinks are basically a shot of vodka in um, uh, flavored uh, seltzer water. Uh, White Claw does suck, I agree. Nutty Light is also like piss water. A lot of a lot of very accurate statements in uh, in chat right now. Uh, but for like, I guess for a more health conscious generation or whatever, it is technically a lower calorie way to take in alcohol. It's very drinkable. It's cheap. So. Waiting for the Four Loco comeback, going Loco for Four Loco? Yeah, me too. Uh, four Loco's coming out with a seltzer. I'm very much waiting for that. Oh! Okay. Ah! I mean, I know Sobble is like... the millennial Pokemon, because it cries all the time. I'm not a big fan of the Grookey color palette. But Scorbunny got that... Scorbunny got that Band-Aid on his nose. You're a natty guy, not a bush guy. I mean, I'm a Four Loco guy. I'm a Buzzball guy. Oh, he got a stick, though. Oh, he's sad. <laughs> Never saw him. Want all of them? PBR? Mm. I'm not. I'm not a PBR can work. Like PBR to me is like Bud Light territory. I've just. It's cheap. It's like clean. I always those kinds of drinks. I always get in addition to another drink that I actually care about. Yingling is really good, uh, but we don't really get it on the West Coast. I only heard about it because of Obama. And then when we went on the Let's Play Live tour. I bought like a 12-er of it because I was like, I've never tried this. I actually really, really liked it. Anyway, I'm going to go for Score Bunny because he's got that rambunctious little band-aid on his nose. Yeah. He won me over. I'm a Score Bunny guy. Yeah, I would actually. You're my new favorite bunny, right, Burn? Bang! Best friends forever. Give me the Wooloo! I want that one. Oh, lame. <laughs> Little Chungus, Chungette. Chungito. I've been a crappier bartender for years, and PBR is my fridge choice because it's simple and cheap. 
Yeah, Loser Sensei. A lot of people like to get pretty haughty about their drink choices. I think that there's... There's a time and a place for cheap booze. And that is while playing Pokemon Shield, clearly. Get out of here, Sobble. No one likes you! Get out! It's been three more years in therapy and... Oh, never mind. Oh, boy. We're gonna pair a, a fire type. Thoughts on Miller Lite? Passable. I think if you gave me, like, Miller Lite and Bud Light in a blind taste test, I'd be very challenged to tell you the difference. Or to, like, pr correctly identify them. <clears throat> Isn't the rival supposed to pick the one that's strong to yours? Uh... That's typically I was, right? I've been nursing a Mountain Dew and a refillable big gulp, big gulp cup for the last two hours and I couldn't be happier. Got a good... Got the Mountain Buzz going. Use his name! Man. Does every Pokemon have exactly the same start? So I, again, haven't played X and Y, didn't play uh, Sun and Moon. I've missed, like, at least the last five generations of Pokemon games. But it's exactly the same thing. I mean, it seems like Pip, or whatever his name is, is not the asshole that uh, Gary was, but... It's just, it's such a, it's such a, it's turning the crank, man. I guess instead of a, a grandpa or professor, you have a Pokemon champion. Hop, that's his name. All right. I like this track, this is all right. Yeah, IPAs are... are rough. What is Growl? Is it like... Yeah, lowers attack. When the Pokémon goes down in three hits... Yep, three hits. Always three. Rule of threes, man. You could fucking set your watch to some JRPG game design, I swear to god. Happy he takes some getting used to. Yeah. And I try to... I don't know, I feel like for a while IPAs were kind of in that weird Cold War where people just wanted more hops. More hops. Hoppiness. Make it the hoppiest thing you've ever tasted. Oh! Maybe somebody in the world actually really did like the taste of all those hops, but it just wasn't super palatable to me. And I'm okay with like... The thing that I like about beer is that it hits certain flavor profiles that a lot of other drinks never do or can. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, I kind of did. I played this game 20 years ago, dude. Turns out, turns out I ain't much has changed. Oh, you hate the bubbly? Yeah. Some brewers still do that. My dad is a really big fan of hoppy IPAs. I believe it. I like, I totally get that some people might really like that flavor. Um, I know people that were super into lambics and stuff because they really liked sour, bitter things. Just super on their tongue. For me, sour and bitter is just not like a flavor profile I like. This doesn't taste good to me, but I'm okay with other people liking it. Oh, I can get a kaiju bunny. Hell yeah. Does a beer make you fat? Well, yeah, it's got a lot of... It's got a lot of calories in it. 
You drink black coffee? Well, then you should look into stouts and porters. Um, those are more coffee-like. Our uh, Guinness Draft is probably the easiest to find, cheapest, and most coffee-like beer. Now, beer is horrible, <laughs> nutritionally. I mean, all alcohol is. Um, I mean, Bailey's is, is more like a milkshake, but yeah. Um, now, if you think about calories, it's like... I'm not a big cider man. Too sweet for me. Um, calories very directly is the amount of heat given up when you burn something. That's what a calorie is. You burn it, and then you measure the heat and the energy that comes out of it. So now, think about alcohol. It's gasoline. It's pure calories. And nothing else. Um, it took me a long time to kind of wrap my head around nutrition and calories and all that stuff, but... Nutrition's on a, like a sliding scale of how many nutrients and how many nutrition you get for the calories you're taking in. A very quote-unquote healthy food. It'll give you a lot of nutrients for not a lot of calories, so like vegetables. A less healthy food will not give you a lot of nutrients for a lot of calories, like a donut. Alcohol is condensed liquid calories for no nutrition at all, and it poisons you. So it's, uh, it's kind of the worst thing to put in your body. And then yeah, beer has a lot of carbs and stuff. I should get a Pokedex. But it tastes good. Yeah, no, life can't be done by math. That's the other thing. It's like, if you want to be an Ubermensch and like live your life by mathematically correct decisions all the time, fine. And maybe that, that gives you some satisfaction, but that kind of defeats the point of being alive and being a human. Which is that we have taste buds, and it's okay to indulge in that sometime. It would be a shame to take your one ride on this planet and not eat a donut every now and then. Gasoline has an outrageous amount of calories. Yeah, because that's all it is. It's a, it's a chemical compound that's meant to burn. In, a Germ in Germany, we say seven beers is also a schnitzel. I think that math is a little tilted, but I think seven beers is probably more calorie this than a schnitzel, but... That's a good equivalence to, to say, though. It's like, you could have a meal, or you can drink. And if you do both, you're basically eating a lot. Like, too much. Is that... Is she saying that? Oh, okay. I did. You know what? I did. Look at you. Look at how look at how beautiful you are. Oh, look at you. So wait. Hmm. I remember the uh Oh, okay. The concern was like or the the big uh oh shit, who's your daddy? Thank you for the cheer. Um yeah, iced coffee is... I've st In the morning, I started using coffee as a meal replacement. Or like in the afternoon if I get kind of snacky. But yeah, coffee is a wonderful beverage. So is tea. There are certain things in this world that are beautiful and wonderful and pure and healthy. Um, coffee, tea, garlic, salt, pepper. Um, things that are just like... Tastes good and good for you. Boba, yeah. I like boba a lot. It is a little cal caloric, though. You watch The Mandalorian? Yeah, Raphael. Hi, man. I love that show. I'm really excited for the next episode, and it's been a long time since I've been excited for a TV show. Oh, we're doing it anyway. Okay. Yeah, conventional wisdom is that you should eat something in the morning to get your um, metabolism going. So I've kind of pivoted to putting something in my body. But uh, 
It's frustrating because in the morning is when I'm least hungry. So when I want to end the day under a certain amount of calories, it's easiest to shave off of breakfast. But apparently that's not the thing you're supposed to do. Working in an office has got to be the biggest enemy to weight loss. Yeah. An office with like an open snack area. Sitting all day. I've, uh... I've definitely tried to, um... Oh, we got tall grass. Wait, I don't have any Pokeballs, though. How am I supposed to capture Pokeball, Marshall? Oh, you can't? Wait, what was that adventure guide? What was that all about? Oh. Alright. Get them after this? Alright. Ah! I love him! Okay. I can hear some, like, old Pokemon theme influences there. They're going heavy on the orchestra hit, though, which I kind of like. Oh. Get a little piece of that Pokemon. Yeah. I am, I am noting that the tutorial section of this game is very long. <laughs> Quality resub, Jess. You're more of an uwu person, not an oo person. Halo, Halo Dudette, you're just describing Persona now. You gotta talk to the Pokemon and convince it to join you. Who's your daddy? Thanks for the sub. That's a hype, though. So one second. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Yeah, it's much shorter than the previous games. It really seems like that, doesn't it? Uh, people have beaten it in, like, what, 10 hours? I don't know how to feel about that, if I'm being honest. Because, like, JRPGs, t traditional JRPGs, anything before, like, I don't know, 360 PS3 generation, they were very long, but they were long because, like, that wasn't all quality time. Um, you weren't just experiencing pure video game bliss the whole time. You were grinding through long fights... And even even those fights were not that interesting. You were just running a flowchart of your JRPG fight fight strategy. So I don't I don't necessarily want to disqualify a game like Pokemon for being short because it delivers you to credits faster than other games, especially if it does have that experience, that you know, long JRPG experience after that. And that's the thing I don't know, and actually have seen disputed a bit about uh, the end game of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Then again, I got I don't have many dogs in that fight, so I'm also not very educated about it. That's the thing. I don't want to wade into that conflict <laughs> coming from not having played a Pokemon game in 15 years. You know, that is very confident, very comfortable in saying that's not my fight. Okay, I think I got a good track queued up here. Some lo-fi beats to study to. Lo-fi beats to Pokemon to. To become the very best like nobody ever was to. Oh shit! Who's your daddy? Thank you for the for gifting subs. Appreciate that. Um, well, allow me to play a track for you. For your outstanding generosity, please. Uh, hard beats. Ah. Uh. It's a really hot track. Thank you. It is. Uh, so the group is, or the artist is called She or uh, Lane Volta, I think, on Twitter. Um, mm, it's so good. Uh, new album coming out. So please pay attention to that. Throw your watch. Watch the sound clouds. Please throw your money. That's what I would recommend. Uh, all right, let's get back into it. Played the Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah, I started it today. Um, I really like it so far. Uh, so far. I gotta admit, though, going into a, a mysterious forest with one path through... Oh. That's still scripted fights. Oh! Uh... 
Na 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 na. You can hear it. It's like in the background, and then it just completely goes away from that. Play Outer Worlds. I haven't started it yet. I'm really excited to though. Uh, big fan of that kind of game. You can dodge the fights. Can you? Because it really seems like I'm. Uh, these are all just scripted, like one per patch of grass. I'm still in the tutorial section of the game, so. And also, like, I like how every Pokemon is doing a status effect first, so I don't actually take any damage. Man, was Pokemon always this... simple? You can sneak through the tall grass? Oh, okay, alright. I will do that then. I guess I should probably level up my... my... my bun bun. Oh, so if you just move close, or if you move... Are you sure about that? Ha! Tutorial ends after Elite Four. Yeah. Pokemon is a kid's game? I mean, I guess... I recall it being more of a JRPG back in the day. I don't know. Whatever, I'm gonna mash A and win. How's it going, Steph? Hi. Did you catch all the Pokemans? Uh, I got the one. One? That's it? Yeah, it's the beginning. You get your starter. That's all? I am. I thought that you were the quintessential gamer. I don't have Pokeballs yet. I already had every Poke, Poke Ball Man, all of it. Yeah? It's only, it's only been an hour. Okay. I'm gonna come back in another hour. It's the tutorial stuff. I can't make the tutorial not be a tutorial. <laughs> I mean, I just, I believe in you. I, I, I want this to happen. Doesn't sound like you played me. <laughs> yeah, the UI looks clean. I'm okay with that. It's just, boy, they really put the limiters on you. A lot. Yes, Austin, you do need to play Control. Oh! Game of the Year, shit, man. Control's so, so good. I gotta get back into that for streams. I never even got to Judgment. Garfield! Oh, boy. Scripted loss. Boy, we're really going through the JRPG shit, aren't we? What if I growled at you? Oh. Meow. I mean, that baseline, though. Mmm. Those some tasty base licks. Jesus Christ, yeah. Base skill 100. Skill level up, Jesus Christ. I think I'm gonna skip this game for right now. <sighs> yeah, Austin, I I don't know. Ah, I wouldn't consider myself a Pokemon expert. I don't, I don't know that I'm qualified to weigh in. If it weren't called Pokemon, this would seem like another average DRPG to me right now. If if I paid sixty bucks for this and I did and I did, I'd be like, the music's pretty good. Everything else about it is really boring, so far. But then again, I'm still in the tutorial, so well, it's just kind of weird that the tutorial's so long. Your pants with directions. Is that? Is that a? Is that British slang? I like it. I actually really like it. 50 at Walmart? What? 
I bought it off eShop. Damn it. Yeah, where's that Wooloo? That's what this whole game is about. Oh, we got him. Okay, good. Pants means bad at? Yeah, yeah, clearly. I'm into it, though. I like it. are the cutest. They deserve our love. Oh, that's right. The, like, extra wide case. Huh. <sighs> What's the... So what's in the Venn diagram, what's that sliver that's, like, how many Pokemon are unique to each game? Gotta go talk to me, Mum. Oh, look at these things. Look at these very round boys. You are so round. Spherical lads. Perfect 3D geometric boys. Hey. Well, you're eight, but here's 20 bucks. Good luck out there. Don't let anyone snatch you. It's a cute phrase. East or west, home is best. Boy, we're really in it, huh? Talk to your mom to go rest? Plays a jingle and then you're back on your feet? I like how her overalls are tucked into her boots. That girl's ready to work. Yeah. Go away for an afternoon. Mommy bought some gadgets off of Amazon, and she needs you out of the house. Mommy scooted her bed over to the outlet that has the ground pin for a specific reason, and she needs you not here for that. It's, your dad is gone, and it's been a minute. You have five Pokeballs now? Hell yeah! Mystery gift. Oh. That's right, I also... There was a... Uh, yeah, not doing that. There was a code that I got for buying it that gave me, like, ten wild balls or whatever. I wanted to make a tweet of, like... <laughs> We're now dispatching five bros to your house or something. I don't know. I hadn't really scribed it together, really. <sighs> Boy, I'm glad I... Glad I waited for that. You need to say you're good when they teach you how to catch it? Okay. Why do they... I don't understand. Okay, so you can... You hit A, and then your guy kneels, and then nothing happens. Why does he even do the kneeling animation? What? Why? Couldn't they just turn? I guess they turn to you, and that's cute, provided that there's not a wall in the way of you seeing how cute the Pokemon are. I don't know. Why couldn't there be, like, a little head rub? I guess because Pokemon are varying heights, and your, your model might clip into them. But, eh. Hello, Steve Brule? That is super amazing. 890 Pokemon ever. This game has 400. 86 are new. Uh, but what's what's the delta of, like, what are Pokemon I can only get in Shield and ones that I can only get in um, Sword? Twirl a stick? All right. Good shit. There's ten to each? Are you serious? There's one sassy cat. That cat has got eyeshadow for days, though. Look at that. Jesus. 
I catch my scares going into her ears. Probably closer to fifteen twenty. Okay. Imagine, imagine paying a hundred dollars for two games just so you can get ten more, ten more little people's. Why do they put that sound effect in when you bonk into shit? I don't understand. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't do anything. Why did they put it in the game? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Some people collect games. Oh, awesome. That's fair. Collectionism is an aspect. Including evolutions is 15 each. Yeah. Because if you have decades tied into Pokemon, it makes sense you'd want both. You swap Unix with online trade? Yeah, it's that was the whole point way back when, is you had your stupid Game Boy cable and trade shit. What's up, Blairberry? I'm playing some Pokemans! One for you and your partner. You can play after having hot gamer sex. Yeah, you can... Oh no. I can't. I can't wake them up. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You're right. I gotta say, in the grand tradition of you can't go this way, JRPG barriers, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> oh, they're too cute. We can't wake them up. I don't know. I feel like I feel like Earthbound still wins. Oh wait, you can actually see them. That feels weird. But it also means that I can get a. Oh, I thought that was an actual Pokeball. Means that I can get a Wulu work right now, which I'm going to. Give me that. How long you been playing? You liking it so far? Uh, I've been playing. I want to say like an hour. Jesus, who's your daddy? Thank you for gifting subs. Um, do I like it? I can't say yet. I gotta. I'm not super hot on it yet because it is a very I'm like JRPGs usually have a long wind up, so I'm I'm trying to reserve judgment, but. Apparently, this isn't a very long game. And my gosh. Uh, is it ever... I don't know. It seems to be very, very, very... I'm trying to think of how to, how to phrase this. The Pokemon that I played, they were a long time ago. But they were like... They weren't... Trivial JRPGs. They there was something shit. There was some shit going on in them. Seventy Elks. Thank you for the prime sub. But yeah, it's slow. I don't remember the old Pokemon's being slow. I remember it's like, hey, hey, whatever. Yeah, your your dad's gone. Okay, fine. Hey, I'm your weird uncle. Uh, I have Pokemon. Take one. Okay, get out there. Get out there and go hurt somebody, and go capture some shit. It wasn't this like, I don't know. I'm okay with long wind-ups, but only in the sense that the long wind-up is there to ease you into a very complicated game. And that's me as, an, as a fucking grown man talking, I get it. I'm not trying to say that, like, what I want should be what everybody wants, but... What's up, Opticron? Only pl play close to 30 hours and I've only gotten 6 badges, I'm extremely addicted to raids. So that's the thing, there, there might be... There might be things about this game that I just don't know yet. So, yes, I would. Unfortunately, what's what's popping into my head is that he's a very cottony young lad, very absorbent. So he's tampy. Right. Quick? Oh, just because it goes first? Okay. I love how this game seems more paced and more streamlined. That's fair. I think I think it's more... Um, they're definitely like... Oh, wait. Do your Pokemon heal after every fight? We're 
work 60, 80 hours a week. It's just nice to be able to play a little bit. I'm alright with that. No, you level up. Oh, oh, I leveled. Okay, so, oh, you get all your health back when you level? Oh, I didn't take damage. Uh, I'm not tracking these things. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I don't know, I'm trying to... <sighs> Hold on a second, I'm trying, I'm trying to like... If I cancel, do I get to see him again? I need to see him again. Okay. Oh, no! No! Aww. Alright, what was that? What was that? Come back here, okay. Damn it. Okay. I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to look at him again. Behold him yet again. And, uh... Oh, it's the level 2? This might kill him. Shit. No? Okay, we're good. Yeah. Yeah, they can go to the Poke Center? Alright. I will. Don't get me wrong. Nostalgia Chris, thank you for the Prime sub. It is kind of nice for them to give experience to, uh... Background Pokemons. I would. You are... You are Chubby Cheeks. Look at you with your little Chubby Cheeks. Hey! Oh, he spawned right in front of me. Alright. Ah, uh, these would have been good. Yeah, you're right. I agree with that. Too late. Ha! War Butler, that's perfect. Dizzy Gillespie would have been... Would have been ideal, but here we are. He dies, he dies. Bang. Oh. Okay, now that I'm actually playing the game, it's picking up a little bit. I'm feeling it. It's not like the combat system is is shocking, but, you know. They need to make the XP share thing an optional thing. Oh, you don't like it? Was I supposed to be able to read that? Because I didn't. Catch this one? Eh. Why? Can you get your team- oh, your team can get overleveled? Okay. Ninety-nine percent of people I see have not liked the EXP share. What's- Genuinely, though, what's the concern? I, I guess it like you overlevel your team and then fights are too easy, but... I gotta admit, that is not something that I would ever expect people to have an issue with in any video game. <laughs> like, the game being too easy? Most people like killing shit and not having to think that hard. In earlier games, they didn't balance around it. What are you doing out of the, out of the tall grass? Get out of here! Get out of here! They just want the option to disable it. Ah! Uh, I think people like having to make a choice about what Pokemon they level. Okay. I mean, I do remember from old Pokemons, it was kind of a game of like, if you had a, a Magikarp or a fucking... Uh, the dumb little asshole. The little, uh, the dude, all he could do was harden. Like, it was, it was a bit of a... a ch like, you had to think about the mechanics to swap them in and get them to level. So, I appreciated that. Ah! Uh, Sorry, Metapod, thank you. Um, yeah, it, it was, there was a whole thing around, like, you had to f figure out how to swap in Pokemon and, like, lay, lay status effects on um, to be able to do that. So, 
now that that's out, it's kind of made the game easier and simpler and safer and... It's such a... It's just so weird to me that... You missed one, gotta catch them all. You're right, never mind. Uh, also the sound. This sound is driving me crazy. It's just such a dumb sound. And it does nothing. Why does it play like that? Which one did I miss? Fuck y'all. They've had a bump into sound since Red Blue? Really? Man, I don't remember that. Maybe I didn't bump into shit as much. Perhaps I was not slamming a uh, Natty Light Seltzer at the time. Run into the exclamation to get a different spawn table. Run into the exclamation point. How do you do that? Oh, like, into the into the notification of them seeing you? It's a nostalgic thing? Yeah, it seems like there, there are elements of this game that lean into that. Harder to bump into stuff on a grid? Maybe that maybe that's what I'm thinking about, of like... Yeah. All the games I ever played... I never played a 3D Pokemon. It was always sprite-based, 2D grid shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that sound effect, man. <laughs> I feel like this game has not earned... Well, it, sh it, yeah, it has, though, right? Like, Pokemon is, is, I think, the world's top media property of all time ever. Hold on a second. Like, over Star Wars, over Harry Potter, over all this shit. Yes. Actually, yes. The answer is yes. Hold on. Uh, from TitleMax.com. Pokemon. Star Wars. Mickey Mouse. So I want to be like... I want to be like, you know what? Pokemon, you haven't earned that. You don't get to, like, be that reverend of yourself. But they have. Wow, I just feel like it makes sense for Dragon Quest to have those little bits in there, but... Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty fucking doing it. Ah! What are you? What the fuck are you? You cute motherfucker. What are you? Son of a bitch. Make my life worth living like that. Can't remember that thing's name. Yamper. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, well, now I'm gay. <laughs> there it is. I'm gay now. I'll go tell stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Who's Your Daddy. Thank you for the continued gifting. I appreciate that. Right with these little like heart pendants she has in her hair. Side ponytail. Oh, it's not fair being bisexual in video games giving us food. Good fucking food, yeah. <laughs> Got a little heart on his butt. Look at him. Look at him frolic. He's so happy. Oh, I'd be so gay for that Pokemon. Somebody call up the church because Yamper made me gay. No, not Sonya. Fuck that. Yamper. Bro what? Oh. Okay, weird. 
It has two giant hooks on it, so if you ever try to put it in your pocket, it's... I kind of know everything about Pokemon. Oh, Pokedex is now an app. It's, it's, I don't know why that's bugging me, but like scraping walls and mashing A is a JRPG staple. And it's weird that they put a stupid little sound in for that. I don't know why I'm harping on that so much. I will officially let it go now. Okay, does, does, does Natty look at shit that you can actually like hit A on to get flavor text? Is that, is that how this game works? Because maybe I'll stop bonking into everything. Oh. Maybe? Yeah? Okay. Oh. Okay. Man. I know that gigantification is like a- is a kink shit. I like to imagine that whenever there's a uh, a particular kink that gets serviced unintentionally by a game, that they have like a nice party, everyone shows up in a nice suit, nice dress, they get their hair done, uh, the host makes some fucking hors d'oeuvres and everything's good, uh, they toast, they have a, a nice champagne toast, thank god we have giant Pokemon, us as people who love gigantism and furryism, thank god. Pokemon, Sword and Shield are here. Our day has arrived, gentlemen and ladies. It's been a minute, but here we are. <laughs> what, a, what a wonderful day for them. I do enjoy imagining that. Uh, not because, you know, I like to think about... It's not, it's not like weirdos on the internet, because we're all weird. All of us. Make no mistake, you're fucking weird. Whoever's listening to this, you're weird. I'm weird. Everybody's weird. I just like to think about... The weirdos <laughs> who accidentally get their day, you know? Uh, I'm into it. It's it's heartwarming. And they like thinking about... What is it? Uh, who's the... Uh, shit. The like fairy type Pokemon who looks like a, a fairy godmother. Who a lot of... I've seen some stuff about... Ah, what's... I don't remember. Anyway, I guarantee you there's at least... Eh, ten? Clefairy? No, not Clefairy. Clefable? No! No! Gardevoir? It is Gardevoir. Thank you. Um, there's at least, let's say, ten dudes out there who are imagining Gardevoir in Gigantamax or whatever. And they're like... <gasps> they're just eyes rolling back in their head. Their next decade is made. She's a fire type? Really? Never mind. Oops. Seemed fairy type, but good for them, you know? They're not hurting anyone. They just want to imagine a really big Gardevoir. And now, God bless Pokemon Sword and Shield. There it is. Well, I don't I don't know that it's in Gardevoir's in this game, but she is fairy. Thank you. Jeez. Uh Gardevoir is fairy psychic? Of course she is, because she knows exactly what I want. Wait, this is a Pokemon that's not saying its own name? Shameful. Game Freak, what have you done? You know, though. You know. Let me put this out there. Let me just call this back up here. Almost 100 billion dollars. And there's no VO? And the intro? Almost 
Almost 100 billion dollars, and they can't... Sakurai's over there, busting his ass to get everybody in Smash Brothers. And they can't get the Pokemons in this game? 100 billion dollars, Game Freak. Pokemon Company. That's a little weird. Yeah, Game Freak owns it, not Nintendo. Well, the Pokemon Company owns it. Uh, which is uh, its own thing. Game Freak doesn't control their deadlines. I think that's that's the key. You're, you're absolutely right, Silver. Um, this game... This game was totally a play with the Switch Lite. Absolutely a Switch Lite play. And it's gonna work. It's gonna make a shitload of money. Um, it, it's partially the tall boy talking, but having played it now, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm wondering. I'm wondering a little bit. Pokemon Company is owned by all three. Nintendo, Game Freak, and Nintendo... Wait, Nintendo Game Freak and Nintendo? It is, so, I read up about this, and it's a, it's a hard concept for uh, Western people to figure out, because it's not like a corporation, it's not like a holding company, it's another thing. Um, <laughs> Atlan, thank you. What's up? I don't know, getting getting rude on some, uh, getting rude on some tall boys. To some degree, I'm kind of okay with so what's, what's weird is you want to think about this game as being like a AAA console game, right? And it's $60, so it ought to be. But uh, it is on the Switch, which is ostensibly a portable hand or a portable system. And Pokemon is a portable franchise. Aside from what? Like Coliseum? And one other one, I think? I mean, there was like Snap. Uh, but that's, you know, not a real Pokemon game. So, I don't know. I think when I think about this is like the next generation of 3DS game. Stadium 1 and 2, yeah. Um, the scope of it makes sense. But, I don't know. I hate to keep making this comparison, but Smash Ultimate is on the same system. And in terms of its like breadth of content, its scope, its... Po yeah, Pokemon XD. Thank you. That's the one I was thinking of. Every Pokemon they include in this game costs about 10 million each. So they, Bish, I'm curious. Where did you get that figure from? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. That's true. Uh, I don't dispute it, by the way. Um, given that... Oh, it's a joke. Okay, thank you. That is a good joke. Because, uh, yeah, that is kind of what the defense rolls out to, right? Um... It is not. A Pokemon ATM. I'm sleeping on top of that thing. No, no, it's a good joke. I mean, <laughs> amusingly, I made a similar joke way earlier in the stream and similarly didn't read. Hello, Chaos. Oh, okay, yeah. That's what rating means, alright. I feel so bad. This was the whole gimmick of the stream, is that I gotta give unique names to everybody. It's not, though. I do think we could do better. I, I wanna see him! Oh, hold on. Let me just Google up an image here. <sighs> alright, let's 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 get into this. This has not been not been the easiest. Okay, weird. Um Why are you over there now? Alright, let's see. Let me praise this. He's a spherical boy. He's, uh... Nonplussed. The, the, like, droopy eyelids kind of speak to that. But his eyeball is over his... Joel, come on, too easy. Burb Knight, closer. McClunky. Mmm, too, too meme -y. Wolverine. Not quite on there, although I see what you're going for. The yellow and black with the spikes and, yeah, the, the eyes there. Hmm. How do you feel about the lack of national Pokedex and toned-down animations? I don't know that I'm enough of a, a Pokemon uh, scholar.
to have those things weigh in on me. Logan's not bad, but we gotta we gotta give it a spin. Hmm. Thurgood also not bad. Alvarine. Or Butler, that's the that's very good. That's the mission of a logo, yeah. Oh, okay, well hold on. Oops! Da <laughs> Oh, that's not the okay button in this game. Hold on. That's a that's a big oops. Okay. I got it. Yeah. You got you guys are getting there. Meow snack, you're you're very close. Oops. Come on. The machina burb. It does fit it better, you're right. No, we're good. <laughs> Come beak. Fuck. Yeah, sure. Gonna bird zero. Yeah, that's pretty good. Also good. You sell balls? I need more balls. God, you have so much money, though. I will take four balls, please. Delivered by two men. Gotta save for fashion. What? That's a thing? Because I do have to do that. Absolutely. Well, I mean, I still have 22,000 Pokemon Yens. And buy clothes? I will absolutely do that. Oh, they give you 20? Okay, I need those balls. Give me those balls. Oh yeah, gotta go Route 2. Or Route 2? Oh yeah. Whatever, who cares? It's weird because, like, this game... Like, with the, the pixelated icons for items and stuff, like, it's... It's... It's harkening back to older games, but it's already fucking old. This game is old, man. Like, it's not even 1080p. It's... This is an old game already. And for it to... Uh, an old game that's also being like, hey, remember that old game? Like, no, 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 no. Playing this game is me remembering an old game. You don't have to, like, try and bake in retro shit because this is already retro. Uh... It feels weird. It feels weird, but I gotta buy some clothes, so... Isn't it 1080p when you dock it? I mean, it's docked right now and it doesn't look like 1080p to me. Maybe it is? That's not a big deal. Like, I'm not... I, that doesn't offend me. But it just... it's a weird vibe. A fashionable tag down there. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna need that full bleed anime print. God damn it! 30,000! Ah! ah. Alright, well. Too expensive. As, as advised, I really should have saved my money. I'm offended that those aren't jorts. I really wanted them to be. Why are there so many socks? God. Dock supports 1080p, but most games cap out at 900. Yeah, it can do up to 1080, but... Are you having fun? Um... Yeah? But, I mean, I don't know. I, uh, I tend to... I like thinking about all sorts of ancillary shit when I play a game, so... This is... These are kind of... I'm just kind of exposing my natural inner dialogue while I'm playing this game. 
and all this uh, confusion about the game's production style and and weird kind of uh, aesthetic is, is kind of what's tumbling out of my head, that's all. I'm not passing judgment or anything, at least not yet. I don't want skinny trousers. I'll do my best. Uh, 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 ooh, ooh, too much. I'm playing a streamer regularly. I mean, I always want to. This is just me playing video games. Uh, and I like playing video games, so... If only I had that full bleed short. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, trying different stuff. Different cities that have more clothing options. Good to know. It's gonna do the IG review for this one. Oh, pain. Or, panty. Um... I defy you. I'll give you... Okay. I'll give you one guess. And if you can't guess in one guess... Who our resident Pokemon expert is... Then I have to... I have to say you haven't been paying attention to the channel. Which is fine. Yeah. Backstrip is on it. Yeah, Brian does love JRPGs, but... I feel like this one might even be a little... A little rough. I do, I do appreciate you can go into most of the houses. That's nice. But... I like that wall art. That's nice. Looking like a Duran Duran cover. Oh, basket of turnips there. The same print in the kitchen. No, wait, it's a different one. Okay. All right. Something you can make in MS Paint in like five minutes? Hold on a minute. All right. Give me a sec here. Let's make some Pokemon, Pokemon art here. Oh, it's not filled in. Ah! Alright, there. God damn it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh! No! I didn't want this. There. Alright. What? Oh, color two is the okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was close. Oh, it's the background. It's a fucking two color thing. I'm more of a Photoshop guy. Oh! Jesus. Hmm. You know what? I take it back. My art is lacking inspiration. It's lacking the pizzazz. Hmm. Not quite the same. Kind of angle those triangles, yeah. I had to got to rotate them around. You're right. That's re <laughs> that's really what's uh. That's really what's uh holding it all back. Need to pink on the left, yeah. Balance out the color theory a little bit.
He's gotta tell me some shit. Well, he's here. Right away. Yes, my mom gave me both my balls. Hey, hey guys out there, think about this. Your mom made half your dick. You ever think about that? Yeah! Now we're doing it. You didn't make shit. Your dad was there for five minutes if we're being if we're being generous. Your mom was there for nine months putting your cock and balls together. <laughs> yeah, Super Blast 6, I'm I'm pounding that salts. Hard salts. Oh, look at this. I can get a sobble right now anyway. Oh, that's not a sobble at all. Look at this nerd. <laughs> Rusty. She didn't do a very good job, did she? She could have tried harder. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna shove this fucker into a locker. Uh... I really don't know what type he is. Oh. <clears throat> Does it tell you? Huh. Okay, interesting, interesting. Water rock, okay. Wait, water? You'd think fire would help, like, would be against that, but I guess not. Oh, Arkeed! Thanks for the resub! Ow! Wait, no. There's a button for it now. Oh, Brittany. I mean, you probably have to... All the starter Pokemons, you probably just have to get them into, like, out of green health, and then it's fine. Nerd turtle, nerdy ass turtle. Oh, you're flaming. You have fighting spirit. What's this all about? Is he just higher level? What's the deal with that? Kicked him in the face. Oh! Yeah, might as well swap out. I'll give you watts when you defeat him. Okay. I don't know that I like that. Like, Pokeball opening sound. There was always that, like, kind of, like, eggshell opening sound effect that was really classic. I don't like that whoop. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't have the same effect. Love we'll Watts, three perfect IVs, and possibly egg moves. I... Wow. I have no idea what any of that means. That's weird. Hold on a minute. Wait. 
Holy shit. Okay, not quite what I had in mind, but... I mean, there's that, I guess. That shit's way too new to school. Well, whatever. What the hell does this power trip do? Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just looking up sound effects. No big deal. Oh! Man. Again, everything... So many good hits on my... That's anime sounds? Yeah. It's from the show. Yeah, my stream is doing pretty well, Zach Turbo. I mean, I got rated by Bruce, which helps a lot, so... It's, it's a weird, um... It's a momentum thing. People see a lot of, uh... A lot of viewers, they want to watch. It's just how it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. As long as Roidburn can take a hit, I can heal him. That will be good. Roidburn might have to take two hits, actually, now that I think about it. Ow! Uh, let's see. Do you get to heal before they attack? Let's find out. Oh, you do, okay. So in old Pokemans, when you, um... If you had somebody in the fight for at least a round, they would get experience. But now that everyone gets experience, if someone's in the fight for a round, do they get more experience? And every gen trainers go first. Oh, okay, that makes sense. If you're both of you, make sure to give you a follow. Well, thank you, Zach Turbo. Yeah, there's... I'm not gonna say that I'm... Uh, okay, got some watts, good, good stuff. I'm not gonna say that I'm like... A plus top tier streamer talent, but there's some things about my stream that are... Unique. Uh... If you stick around long enough, you might see those. Mostly it's just the garbage media that I use for uh, intros and outros and stuff like that. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. Ooh. He's... Ooh. He's sassy. He's confident. He knows. Look at this guy. He knows. Oh, he knows. He knows what he's got going on, and it, it's good. Ow! Ooh. Nicket is a great name, but not good enough for me. Hmm. 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 Oh, look at those little boots, too? On his little front paws? Hmm. I would. He's the foxy, because he's sly and foxy. Two X's might be a bit strong, but I'm still going for it. You yeah, got just a fox. Fox boy. Nick Nolte is not bad. Sly Cooper, also good. <laughs> Thank you, Bazang. Oh, look at this little twerp. I'm gonna make you eat mud, my man. I'm gonna piss in your mouth. I'm gonna bash your teeth out and then make you pay me for it. Oh, he's not wrong. Alright.
We the baddies, no. We're the hero. He's only got one Pokemon? What an ass. What a little twerp. What a little bitch. Get fucked. Aw, oh, you lost. Look at how useless you are, you stupid little kid. <laughs> what a nerd. What's up, Rudy? What a little twerpy nerd. Oof, I gotta use the restroom, though. Too much seltzer. I'll be right back. See you guys in a minute. Okay, back in it. Back in it. Back in the Pokemon realm. To capture this two-toned fox thing. I'm gonna pick a cutie? What makes you think Score Bunny's not the cutie? I'm insulted. Oh, you're a Sobble. A Sobble kind of guy. People have tried for decades to learn the mystery of that shrine, and no one will. Ever. Hmm, okay. Hmm. I yeah, this this star of the eye. Hmm. Hmm. No, you're right, I do. I do have to do something kiss related. He'll be Chrisoof. Hmm. Rat Chris? Like, where's the rat coming from? Got it. Good. I am a master trainer. It's true. <gasps> An item! Can't tell what- oh, that's the a squirrel boy. Screw you. I'm getting this item. You know it. Alright. Oh, it's a trainer! Uh, I should probably heal- heal my boys! Okay, it's becoming a video game now. Party's not doing so hot because I got those watts or whatever. Haven't looked at this Pokemon at all. I'm a Digimon man. <laughs> got the whole RPG coming soon. Yeah, um... Rudy. Can you... Convince me to play Cyber Sleuth Complex or what? Wait, what was it called? Don't switch so much? Yeah. It was that one fight, uh, Chubb. The one against the, the souped up... Whatever the hell this guy is. Oh, the Choodle? Yeah. I took I took a lot of free hits, and yeah, I totally, uh, I swapped a lot and took a lot of free damage, for sure. Your, your advice is appropriate. There are two Cyber Sleuths? You're talking to Yellow Kid or Cool Black? Oh boy, I don't know. Wait, wait, did, was it like Pokemon? They put out two of the same game? Everyone said it was a really solid game. Oh, there's a sequel already? Two stores running side by side. Oh. So you have to play both, you're saying? To get all the lore? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, look at her tiny tie, though. What a nice tie. 
Let's go to finance last year. Thanks to you and everyone for the last entertainment. Aw, oh, thank you for watching. It's, uh... As far as I'm concerned, the deal is complete. If somebody just spends the time to watch the stuff we make. Oh, look at you. You're ready to go. Come on, I'm gonna get you. Yeah, I will be Degon Ronpa. That's my promise. Might take me a while, but I will. I'm gonna be all of them. You ever want to use a Digimon to literally hack the planet and stop a cyber invasion? Play Cyber Sleuth. I mean, with a... God, with a pitch like that, it's hard not to. Oh, look at this terrible thing. What am I staring at? I hate it. But I also kind of love it. Also, yes, that is... That is the perfect... The perfect sales pitch, the perfect take. He had a little bow tie! Oh, you made your own game? Oh! Please... Please share it. Oh, look at this sassy boy. I love him so much. Ow. Also, Chrono Chameleon. Sorry, I think I missed your reset, but I appreciate that. Hopefully you're still around. Every Digimon game is literally running around with literal programs, raising them and stopping some badass godly system from taking over. Are you... God damn it. Are you telling me that it's Tron cross Pokemon? Digimon is badass in every regard. Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah, um, give, me your, give me your money. Just kicking a kid in the shin, taking all of his money. I love it. This is nice. Oh, can you fish? Oh! I actually, I actually really like fishing mini games. And here's this asshole. I'm just kidding, I love you, Magikarp. You're a real son of a bitch, but I love you. I'm gonna kick you in the face until... Until I can capture you. It's Tron Pokemon and you'd be right at home there, man. Kip isn't here, but I would have more to support if Kip is here. Okay. I mean, if... If it's you and... It, both of you combined is... Oh, no! I kicked it too much. I kicked it too much in the face. I could have had a... Uh. Oh no. Oh no. I'm sorry, Magikarp. I'm sorry that I stepped on your head until you were dead. Oh, never mind. We're good. Could have had a British Gyarados. Was the Big the Cat fishing stuck in your favorite part of Sonic Adventure 2? I don't think I got that far in Sonic Adventure 2. I remember running around in a big mech as, uh, as Tails. I remember a lot of dialogue, and I remember giving up on that game pretty quickly. Look at him. Look at how pathetic this guy is. Oh man. I love you so much, Magikarp. Hmm. Is that a DXR gaming chair? I think so. Um, we got these when we started Funhouse. It was actually kind of a... It was a real solid that one of the salespeople who's no longer with Rooster Teeth did us. She just like worked a deal where they uh, made some, yeah, it's a TX Racer, but made some like funhouse embroidered chairs. And they were all delivered to the office and we were like, awesome. And she was like, yeah, just we just got those for you. I was like, fuck yeah, man. Uh, but we didn't have a use for them in the office because we already had chairs. So I was just like, is it okay if I take this home? Everybody was like, yeah. I actually had a DX Racer before this, and I really liked it, but, um, oh, hold on. Uh. Hmm. Oop. Uh, but, so there was, there was only one, he's a flop of sad. There was only one, um, oops. Yeah, actually, no, I want I want him in my party. 
Yeah, you can take the place of Machinaburb. Although, apparently Machinaburb, when he levels up, becomes pretty badass. Um, happened to the rest of the chairs? I actually don't know. There were like five of them. I have no idea where they went. But I asked, like, took this one home. Because the last one, uh, there was a, uh, so at, on the bottom of it, I feel like, oh, I can't quite feel this one, but, um, I bought one of the, like, first-gen DX Racer chairs. I, I remember thinking, at the time I was working from home, I was, like, a contract writer, and I was like, I spend a lot of my day in a chair. I should probably buy a good chair that, like, supports me and, uh, has good ergonomics and all that. Um, I should invest in my ass, is what I said to myself. Um, so I bought one of the DX Racers, also because they sponsored, like, a StarCraft II tournament. And I was like, well, I want to support those sponsors, because I, I love me some StarCraft II. Still do. Uh, and I used it for about five years. It was really good, but there was, um, there was like, a metal crossbeam that was bent up, so it was, like, a U-shape. And it was the support beam under your ass. And... Sitting on it after a while, the like lips on the metal cut through the, the padding on the fabric. And after a while, I could kind of feel that ridge hooking up through. Again, it took a long time of my fat ass sitting on it. Uh, this one I've had since I want to say 2015. So it's four years old. It's still extremely comfortable. And it's it's held up. Um, only... Only flaws slash problems I could point out is that the armrests are not padded. It's just like kind of a solid matted uh, hard maybe foam. But I kind of prefer that because I, I actually had another chair that had like a woven fabric and it would actually kind of scrape my elbows. Um, and it, it made my elbows a little raw but also it would just like accumulate skin on it and I would try to like smack the skin out of it. That's what? gross. Nobody wants. No. What? No, no one wants to hear about your chairs accumulating skin. Fuck. Get a rag. I mean. S something. No, it's Stop fabric. It. You can't just wipe, wipe it off. It would like. It you would... know, I'm cooking dinner, and I don't know if I really want to hear about how your skin was accumulating in fabric because it was like you were molting like a snake. Jesus. These are gamer problem stuff. Real <laughs> gamer problems. Anyway, uh, that's not an issue here because it is it is a hard and like non-porous surface. Doesn't make it the the like most comfortable to rest your elbows on, but I've never been uncomfortable putting my arms on it. Um, it's just not the the most like uh, comfy thing. But I also keep my elbow or my armrest low so that I can slide my chair under my desk and they don't bonk on the front. So, um, you know. Uh, Weird thing is, I don't quite understand the need for this thing. Um, the only thing that I can, like... To me, this this is just a posture check. Like, if, if my neck is hitting that, then it's reminding me to, like, roll my shoulders down, tuck my chin, and try to sit upright and engage the core and all that. Uh, but I don't, I don't quite understand the purpose of this, really. Um, it's nice, I guess. Uh, aside from that... Really no, really no, no problems. Like the, uh, you can't adjust the width of the armrests, but that's never been an issue for me. Um, they go forward and back. They go up and down. Um, really, like I've I've had nothing but good experiences with DX Racer chairs. Uh, I like the lower back pad. Okay. I have a sticky note telling me to sit up straight. It's really good for sketch days. Yeah. I, man. Uh, it's funny you mention that because when I used to write. When I was in the zone, right, and just like bashing out words, and I had a good had a good flow, I would start to do this. Like my head would just tilt to the side, and I didn't even know what happened until my girlfriend at the time noticed it, and she's like, "What the fuck is wrong with your body?" I was like, "What?" And I was just like doing this because like my my muscles just kind of went lax. I don't know, it's weird. Um, but yeah, when you're working, it is good to do to like have something in in view to remind you about posture. So that's kind of what I use what use this thing for is like I know that if the base of my skull is touch touching that pad, then I'm sitting <laughs> properly, basically torque hold body right when I get in the zone. Yeah, right. It's it's a weird thing when you get into the flow, if you're working on something. Uh, sometimes when I would when I would edit too, I would like like hunch and then <laughs> you know a standing desk. Yeah. 
the the supposed health benefits of standing desk have been bat bopped around for a, for a minute. I don't know. I like having a surface to put things on. Uh, it makes me more efficient that I actually have my tools and my booze at close hand. But I guess standing desk has that too, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Hmm. We turn into potato sacks when the juices get going. Yeah, that's that's the thing that um, has kind of bummed me out for a while. Is I haven't done that kind of work in a long time. It's just been like clerical stuff. It's been emails. It's been meetings. It's been just corporate stuff. Uh, not not the most fulfilling. Not the most engaging. I miss it. But I've I've been doing some editing lately on, on things that like nobody will ever see. Unless something comes of it, and then I can share it. We'll see. Basically putting together reels for different projects and being like, Hey, put me in your thing. I think I'll be good in it. Uh, so. And that's what been fun to put it put together. Yeah, JC. It's, it's real stream hours. Oh, look at that cane. That's cute. A little burb handle. A little rooster handle? Alright. I have a chair that I pulled out of a car and I mounted an office chair bottom. It's super good, it's a little wide for my desk. You mounted a, a... A driver's seat from a car onto a base? That's badass. Let's play Devil Daggers. Yes, I have. I actually really, really like that game. One of the few, like, modern arcade games that's super, super good. Skittle. Thank you for the raid. So it's a thing now where Pokemon just don't say their own name anymore? When did that change? That's a new thing, huh? That's only the anime? Is it? I feel, I feel like it was the... Well, I guess the game's... Never been in the real universe of the games? Huh. I guess I never really thought about that. And the games, the Pokemon never talked. They just made the, like, creepy scrawl. Like, the... The assumption was that... <laughs> the, uh... I like how this dude just cannot read books. Like, wow, those are way too adult for me. Have you seen Pokemon Origins? No, I don't even know what that is. I am such a baby about this stuff. Like, I, I know very little about Pokemon. And it's such a thing. It's actually kind of excited to... Or, it's kind of exciting to play this game and talk about it with people because there's such a wealth of knowledge out there I, I just have been blind to. I played, like, the first three or four Pokemons and was like, I'm good, man. Pokemon Origins is pretty dope. Is it a show? <laughs> what, it, what is it? Because they'd be screaming, Yeah. Miniseries. Should we hold on? Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay, well. That was not that was not a cutesy Charmander. <sighs> Fucking Christ, that Pokemon was into that, that Charmander's throat. Woo! I want you to watch Pokemon Sun and Moon. There's an episode about death. Wait, Sun and Moon is also a show? Please stream Halo Reach when it's on Steam. I will. I actually really, really liked Halo Reach. Uh, I wasn't... I'm going to be honest. I wasn't a big fan of Halo. Most of the Halos. Didn't like them much. Thought thought the like level design wasn't great. Thought that the, the entire point was mostly just like... Everything about Halo was conceding a bunch of good game design to the fact that console couldn't do shit. Was was mostly Halo for me. But... Uh, Halo Reach was like, okay, this is actually a good game now. It took a minute, but Halo 3 was almost there. 
Reach was Reach was good. ODST was interesting. At least it had something going on with it. I'm gonna make Adam cry. I mean, that's me. That's me being a pretentious asshole, though. PC had Star Siege Tribes way before Halo, and here I am, like, being that dick. Like, I'll admit, being that dick. I mean, like, this is. Bruh, this is like, this is the thing? Come on. We have Half-Life, and you have Halo. Curious Places, thank you for the Prime sub. Yeah, you gotta get that Monster Energy drink. Gotta get that Game Fuel. Let's go for it. Yeah, bullshit. I didn't heal any of my Pokemon. Hold on. It was fun to... Yeah, Counter-Strike? Jesus Christ. It is fun to... Well, fun is, the, is a weird word, but... I definitely had that phase where I was pretentious as hell. Oh, all my shit's good. Uh, and, and luckily I went through that phase, not on the internet. Hop is literally how? Same animations? Delta Force 2. Yeah. Crisis. I mean, this is this is the narrative always, right? Is that game design is pushed to the extent on PC because you're not... Theoretically, you're not constricted by resources, but... Nowadays, you're constricted by budget. The bigger audience is on console, so you develop for console. Because you're more likely to make your money back. Two through Reach was dope, especially the lore. Not to mention those games reinvented the modern multiplayer shooter. Now, Buster, they reinvented the multiplayer shooter for console, yeah. And that's that's important. That's not that's not nothing. Um, I can't. I think about it this way, and I hope this isn't disparaging, but like, Halo is to shooters what Nirvana was to grunge. It existed before Nirvana, but they found a way to make it palatable to everybody. Anyway, I'm gonna fuck the sheep up. Here's Wonderwall. And I, I know that, like, I know that that analogy would probably really piss, I mean. Not that Cobain even knew what Halo was, but. Who was Kurt Cobain? I mean, Master Chief, whatever. The, the analogy breaks down at a certain point. But I, I do think that, like, there's a difference between making something the first time and then making something commercially successful. And art appreciation gets weird when you start to conflate being commercially successful with being artistically successful. There's skill in both, but they're not the same thing. Halo made console shooters commercially successful because of some very good game design, and I'll acknowledge that. But in terms of like the nuts and bolts of how shooters work and what was going on in the space, um, Oops. What? Oh. Double kick. Oh, sorry. I've never been a fan of quick attack. I don't need it. Who cares? I can wait. It's fine. Uh... It took me a long time to respect what Halo did for the scene. Because it, it, it did a lot. Um... And it's unfair to, to discount that. But what it did was mostly an adaptation, not necessarily an innovation. That said, right now, what Bungie's doing with something like Destiny 2 is really exciting. Uh, and I think, I think with Shadowkeep, Bungie's kind of revealing, revealing their their true power level, and to a degree, and the the design talent that they have on staff. Level does, uh... I mean, why? Yeah, we're on two different topics. I'm rambling on my own thing. People talking about Angry Misty, I'm on it. I... thing, I'm so behind on my lore. I don't know what's going on with Misty these days. 
Should I keep this fucking amazing? I'm glad Destiny 2 is incredible turn from vanilla going, but damn if it's some some of the FTP switch. You think? I agree, but I think they were very smart about how they integrated that free-to-play chunk. I think the bounty system is brilliant. Like it's just it's just brilliant. Really, I not I don't think enough can be said about the bounty system. It is. Um, I really think the bounty system is a hallmark in game design, the way that they made it and the way that it integrates with the game. Um, I really think that. And not a lot has been acknowledged about it because it is a free-to-play game and it's an old game, but my god. The in intricacies of the bounty system and how it kind of tugs on your brain and the whole, like... The idea that making multiple bars fill up at the same time is in your control and... It's that illusion of ownership and the illusion of progress all combined at the same time. And it, it allows you to kind of exercise your knowledge of the game. Uh, I don't know. They don't get enough credit for that. And they never will. But it's really, really smart. Yosh. My problem is that Bungie's run headfirst into a free meme experience with the store, and it leaves basically nothing in cosmetics for people who played for two years already and have bought the newest DLCs. Yeah, I I can see that, Angelic. It's you got a lot of audiences to serve in that regard. I would I would argue the point is that you had two years of fun and you got to play those game the game for two years, but but yes, I'm glad you noticed Leon's clothing. Because he is wearing a football uniform with a cape and leggings. He's got a whole ensemble going. His snapback, his weird half glove, his... I don't know. I didn't... Oh wait, me? Sorry. No, Leon is that guy. I'm the guy on the left with the purple, purple knit cap. Cape of sponsors? Yeah, he's got all of his... He's got his NASCAR sponsors on the back. Leon's a weird guy. And his, like, weird, like, pointed beard with the strap shaved out in the middle. It's intense. He's a, He is a commanding figure, for sure. Also, doesn't he have anything better to do than to mentor these two kids? Maybe, I don't know. No, Angelic, I have seen Mandalorian. I, I really, really like it. Yare? I know that's his brother, but still. That's heartwarming, I guess. happen to get Dynamax stones from the sky. Pokemon. Whatever. What does Dynamax even do? Make sure Pokemon on goddamn Kaiju. A Godzilla. Yeah, <laughs> make sure Pokemon's chonk. <laughs> well said, Witch Hunter. And she's here now. Okay. You have a favorite stand. Hmm. I don't. Not yet. Read Pikachu's voice on Dynamax? No. Does it does it pitch down? I've not played since one. The bounties seem weird to me. They're weird, for sure. Um, at least when you when you start into them. They don't matter until you learn to care about them, really. But it is a way to add relevance to the, uh, the breadth of bullshit in Destiny. Where am I up to in JoJo's? Ugh, it's, it's scattershot. So, I'm trying to finish, uh, My Hero Academia. Uh, and I'm near the end of Season 3, which I didn't quite. Um, also I'm working through Dragon Ball Z Kai, which, still not quite. So, 
I've kind of tabled JoJo for now, which is dumb. Um, I have just finished. Uh, I mean, I'm 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 not very far in JoJo. I I'm, I've got to the second JoJo, but I also watched the old series, the one that came out in like the early '90s. Um, and I don't know where in the JoJo timeline that takes place, because that's kind of in the middle of everything. Yeah, no, it's it's shameful. It's shameful. But luckily, luckily, I'm carving out time. I really am. And this is, this is, uh, this is 100% true. This isn't wishful thinking. I actually will have more time to watch, watch sweet JoJo's in the future. Let me click on this tweet. Oh, hold on. That's deep. That's resonant. Man. Did you fly to space to have more time? Well, like... Like relativistic time theory? Go near a black hole so I can watch more anime kind of thing? I'm gonna say yes. If I could live, if I could live my life in a space of dilated time, so that I would age slower and have more time being a living person to like consume more media that I enjoy, yeah, I would do that. The thing is, like, I don't. I'm a. I'm a person of meager, meager. Like, I don't need a lot uh, to 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 live my life and be happy. I, I'm a man of the internet, right? I just need a terminal. And some animes, and I'm good. Uh, and I think I could do that. I could do that around a black hole when space time is warping kind of weird. Relatively the same amount of time will pass. I know. No, it's more like if I could if I could get to where there's a gravity well and my day, even though the world is 24 hours, my day would be like 48. I think I might do that. Shit, man. Why not? How many Pokemon games have you played? A grip, but all the old ones. So I played Red and Blue. I played uh, Leaf Green and Fire Red. I played Emerald. I haven't played a Pokemon game since Game Boy Advance, uh, which is a long time ago. Um, but speaking of the passage of time, I've been streaming for a little too long. I think I gotta hang it up. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, Pretty healthy stream tonight. Probably thinking, thinking all of the the Bruce's gooses in chat. But thank every, thank you everybody for hanging out. Does um, mean you can do that? She can create time dilation around her, like a cone, and just chilling there. Well, that'd be good to read books, read mangas, catch up on my Judge Dread comics. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Ah, Shen, I'm sorry that you just got here, but uh, you know what? I'm gonna throw this out there. I'm gonna I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the clips roll for a little bit tonight. So if you're into that stuff, if you wanna. Oh yeah, Curious Places? Been a fan since 2009! That's a long time. That's... That's back when I was writing. Um, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna work that out too, soon. I've been squirreling away a backup of the Inside Gaming blog... ...for a while. And I just have to set up a local host on my machine. Reconfigure WordPress, upload the database. Uh, have it patch back into PHP my admin. I think I can do that. Um, and then I want to do a stream where I'm just kind of like... Scrolling through all my old blog articles and reading them again. Uh, but anyway, yeah, media dump, uh, media dumpster as I call it. Uh, probably happening after this for a couple hours at least. So if you guys want to hang out and watch some weird shit, that's what's going to follow. Um, oh, and and one other disclaimer: if you or if you're into that, uh, this is this is me advertising now fully. You might want to follow uh, because I'm going to be doing more of that in the future, but in a different way. It'll probably be sub only in the future. But uh, I'm going to work some angles there. Try to make that... I don't know. I'll figure it out. Maybe it's like if you cheer enough, it's still watchable. Uh, I'll, I'll, f I'll figure something out. But uh, yeah. So random stuff for a couple hours here. My random clips. Please enjoy. And thank you for watching. I want to say that again. This was a really fun day. Got to play a lot of fun video games and talk to people. So I really enjoy it. Uh, but yeah. Please enjoy what comes next. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye, everyone. Have a good night. Have a good week.